All right, hello again. Uh, I just wanted to take a quick look at this uh, new peripheral for the Wii. It's the Top Shot Elite uh, gun attachment thingy. Comes with the new Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011. Um, and uh, this really only applies to the Wii version of the Top Shot Elite. Uh, there is one for the PS3 and 360, but it's got its own uh, separate uh, sensor bar. Uh, the controller's different, uh, so as far as how that one is, how that one feels, I can't say exactly, so let's take a look at this one. First, the box is awesome. And uh, we all love our boxes, so, uh, you know, the artwork is great. Uh, this bear and the gun and all this, this is actually embossed. You probably can't tell on the video, but uh, it looks awesome. And the back uh, also looks pretty nice. Uh, got some screenshots. Dangerous. That's always exciting. Uh, so yeah, but let's take a look at the gun itself. So this is actually just a, uh, a slip cover on top of a fantastically generic white box. Nothing going on here, so let's open this up and see what the gun looks like. Now this is just uh, basic instructions for putting it together. And uh, one cool thing I will say about this though is lots of times you get a peripheral uh, with, a uh, with a game included and it won't come in a full size DVD case, but here we get an actual copy of the game in DVD case. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so it comes in uh, three parts. Uh, the main one obviously is this giant thing. Uh, your nunchuck will go here. It's got some soft rubber padding on the inside. Same thing here with the remote, uh, the Wii remote, I should say. Uh, this is black, is all uh, soft rubber. And uh, you take this out. That's where you wrap the cord around for the uh, uh, nunchuck cable. And then your uh, sight goes on here. Just clips on. And this is actually, I don't know if you'll see that, but. It's actually red, and you, you use this in-game to, you know, with your hunt, hunter sense, you look through the red filter and you can uh, see different items or tracks or whatever. Uh, and it also has this adjustable stock that goes on the gun. And this is actually, you know, got several different settings. Let's see if I can actually put this thing together. All right, so that only took me about 13 hours. No, it's not that bad to put together. Um, and you can see, though, how big this is. Let me get the, uh, the Wii Zapper here for comparison. So you can see this thing is really big. But it works pretty decently. Uh, first thing is, uh, again, the stock is adjustable. Uh, the sight stays right here. That's one difference between this and the uh, uh, 316p PS3 versions is the sight actually, since you don't have to have the Wii remote on the top of those controllers, you can adjust the sight the full length here. So uh, anyway, it's pretty well balanced. Uh, you got easy access to the Z and C buttons here and the stick. Of course, you can take the stock off if you want. Pops right out. And you've got uh, pump action reloading right there. Uh, I like it. Um, I haven't gotten quite used to it yet. It's it's pretty big. I think I might actually uh, prefer it if I played standing up. Um, also, uh, when you are reloading, you know, you still need access to all these buttons on your uh, remote here. And they're not always the easiest to really get to. So that's one problem, but uh, overall it's a pretty nice gun. It's a decent toy, but um, as far as the game itself goes, I've, I've played the game a little bit, 
And, uh, you know, this is the first hunting game I have. And I, I think, because this is, it seems like a, a different kind of hunting game, and I, and I wonder if uh, people who are into uh, this series, I mean, there's so many Cabela's games and other hunting games out, uh, if they might uh, uh, not like this as much. Because when I, when I played it, I did the first few levels, it, it really feels like a survival horror game rather than a traditional hunting game. Uh, so far, anyway, there hasn't been, you know, so much tracking. It's more of just uh, reacting to when animals are coming at you. And, and i got to say, the atmosphere is awesome. Uh, but anyway, that's, I've only played it a little bit so far. But you really, you know, when you're in the woods or something like that, and you, you know, it's night, and it's just you alone, and you hear some animal sound off in the distance, it's pretty, uh, pretty unnerving. So they, they did a good job with that. But, uh, wait, did, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, it's you! I got you now, finally! Oh. Crap. Hey, wait a second, though. Why do you sound like a vacuum cleaner?